The time now, it's 8 5 over the border time on this Wednesday morning, June the 4th, 2014. On a Wednesday morning, time now for the Water Magician PJ Wiggins, the board report. Wednesday morning, June the 4th, 2014. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good morning to you all this lovely Wednesday morning. Our current conditions at 8.50 a.m. And not message just get a temperature of 56 degrees. Overcast guys. Remember to dead eye. Present with me. Not face about 3 miles per barometer. 28 inches. Do put about 53 degrees in the visibility of 10 miles. All right. Let's take a look at our radar scope. And it shows. What? Washington College graduates get jobs. And fans of showers around the Greater Boston area and stretch the down fields. Now with a wet dolphin and down for Brockton. Fans of rain showers around we'll east north to the down for Tonto to the north, Tonto to the down to rain the down to Bridgewater. Line and line and blobs showers around the southeast of the down to the southern Massachusetts Bill side. Here. And we'll zoom it out and it shows a lot of rain jars from off the New Jersey coastline stretching out from West Cape Downs down the coastal South Shore and up off the North Hampshire and Western Maine coastline and down the eastern portions of Quebec. A lot of rain jars in the southeastern portions of Prince Edward Island. And a lot of rain jars in the western portions of Quebec and then off the northeastern portions of Ontario. And this is an a lot of blobs of showers in the northeastern portions of Iowa, down from western portions of Wisconsin, and a lot of showers and storms from southeastern Wisconsin, down from northern Illinois, right around Chicago, stretching out of the southwestern portions of Michigan, and down from Indiana, western Ohio, down from southern Illinois, down from central portions of Illinois, here. And on the range has the South Central Wisconsin here. And this is one cell. With hail from Florida and searching in Robinson down in Southern Illinois. And that's this is a cell with hail around the Cincinnati area here. And look at that. Yellow's orange is reason what Evan Stidden searching the dead food. New town in Turpin Hills here. So those of you in the Cincinnati area, try to have some extra time with you if you want to go to if you're going to work in that area because it's going to be a nasty, nasty weather situation on tap here. And a lot of rain shots and storms off the northern shores of Cuba, off the western coast of Florida, and a lot of rain shots and south central portions. I fell in love with Helen Sinclair. I want to be honest. Oh. It's one of those things that happened. I'm not surprised. She's extraordinary. And so are you. It's me that's so mixed up. I have a confession to make. I know. Florida, say, and a lot of rain shots off of the northeastern coast of Mexico here. <coughs> and a lot of rain shots off the northwestern portions of North Dakota. Stretching up to Saskatchewan and the northeastern portions of Alberta. And rain shots the south central portions of Alberta. And off the north central portions of Montana. <laughs> He's been in love with me a long time. Rain, sleeted snow showers in western, northwestern portions of Alberta, and north, northeastern portions of British Columbia. It's a great chance in central portions of British Columbia. It's a great chance in southeastern Idaho, Hole, northeastern portions of Nevada, and north, north central portions of Utah. Bridgeland, Utah. Good morning. It's 52 degrees with blue skies. Here. Let's take a look at our satellite loop. Shows a couple batch of clouds cutter in much of eastern Massachusetts, eastern New England, and stretching up into Nova Quebec, and stretching it up all the way down to Newfoundland, and stretching out to Northern Ontario. And another batch of the clouds covered a bunch of the Great Lakes, and stretching it up to Iowa, down from Missouri, down from Western Kentucky, Tennessee, down from Northern portions of Arkansas. A couple of batches of clouds from Western portions of Texas, and down from North Central New Mexico. And a couple of batches of clouds from North and Central Portion of Nevada, down from Utah, and a batch of clouds from Idaho, down from Montana, stretching up to from Saskatchewan, down from British Columbia. Here. <coughs> Okay, let's take a look at our map situation here. Station front from Montana and the cold front from Wyoming, stretching it down from Colorado and down from Kansas, and station front from Kansas, stretching it down from Illinois, Indiana, and down from Ohio, and a cold front curve from Ohio all the way up into Pennsylvania, up into the North New England and Quebec, cold front from Western Ontario. Front of mine from North Central Utah, down from Southern Nevada, and down from 
<coughs> Southern Arizona, Western Mexico. Fun by that from California and a fun by from Eastern North Carolina, stretching up the Jersey coastline and a fun by from Iowa and that from Wisconsin and a fun by from Ontario and that from Ontario. And fun by that from Saskatchewan and from Montana and Paris Little Pressure and from Saskatchewan and Paris Little Pressure and that from North Central Ontario and fun by from Southern. California and then for Puerto Rico and Western Texas and Kansas and West Southern Illinois. And I pressure it over to Florida and Mexico and that for North Central Arizona and that for Southern Colorado and then South Dakota. 57 degrees at temperature out of Boston at 77 out in Washington, D.C. and Miami, 72 in Atlanta, 76 in Dallas, 74 in Bartholomew, Texas, 66 in Kansas City, 64 in Chicago, 64 in Minneapolis, 53 in Denver, 64 in Albuquerque, 57 in Salt Lake City, 61 in Los Angeles, 53 in San Francisco, 50 in Seattle, and 47 in Great Falls, Montana. <laughs> Current conditions, Rand Region, we have 55 degrees at temperature out of Boston, it's 56 out in. Bedford and Beverly, 52 in Gloucester, 58 in Pittsburgh, 53 in Worcester, 56 in Sturbridge, 56 in Webster, 56 in Milford, 56 in Norwood, Taunton and New Bedford. And 55 degrees on temperature right now with Providence down. 55 in Falmouth. 54 in Hyatt. 57 out in Chatham. It is. And two carat, 18 carat gold bands are 29 dollars 57 of ours, 54 out in Nantucket. And Nissan 24. Winner of Nissan's highest dealer honor for the third time in a row. 61 in Block Guns. With a huge selection of ultimate... 62 out in... The best team in West Philly, 57 in Newport. 2014 Ultima, only 124 a month. Or a new 2014 Road, just 154 a month. Get a steal of the deal. 59 in North Kingston. 24 in Rockton. 59 in Warwick. And 55 degrees out of temperature now in Smithfield. And 63 out in Chickpea, 64 in Westfield, 60 in Pittsfield, 63 in Northampton, 62 in Albany, 62 in Bayton, 56 in Jeffrey, 55 in Concord, 58 in Manchester, Hampshire, 59 in National Hampshire, 53 in Pottsman, Hampshire, 64 is all the place for Winslock, and Hartford, and Meriden, and Waterbury, Connecticut, 62 in Denbury, 65 in Waven, and 66 in Bridgeport, 70, 65 out in New York City, 62 in Islamabad, 60 in Montauk. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, no. Forecast discussion in New England. They have flash flood in everywhere, wherever possible, with an organized area of storms moving in front. They are valley on Wednesday. A large complex of storms that develop over the middle of the Spring Valley. Tuesday will continue to propagate southward to the V. Our valley Wednesday, vigorous energy loft will keep these storms organized well, even. They'll be moving towards a moist and unsailing mass. They'll have heavy downpours, damaging wind, floor sail, and I've been isolated tornado with the energy lawful streak. <coughs> East of the central elevations Wednesday night to Thursday, but the threat from flash flooded spirit weather will diminish as storms lose some strength while moving to southeast where the Tennessee Valley and the middle of the state. Up three from the storms moving further to the Ohio Valley and a piece of energy injected out that the rockets should help ignite and have adventures of organized storms over the central plains by early Thursday. Day storms are expected to move southeastward front towards the Missouri Arkansas border and along the front boundary stretch in front of the region and will be occurred in whisk of some heavy downpours and some severe weather. An air patrol will trigger south showers and thunderstorms of all the progresses from the Tremont West to the upper Mississippi Valley. In the next couple of days, activity should be mostly scattered, but an organized area of convections containing moderate enemy rains is expected to develop over the quarters Wednesday evening and move eastward in the Minnesota by Thursday morning. The crazy deals people go crazy for. Oh wait, let's take a look at our forecast discussion for New England air. So come visit us, and while you're there, you can get free acupuncture. Scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms this water over Red Island, East to will move offshore this afternoon. Number one, mainly dry weather will prevail this afternoon and evening before low pressure tracks along near the south coast of New England Lake. Yeah. Ten and Thursday, whistle a little more west, red rain as far as spot showers thunderstorms. Friday, mainly dry and warm weather that returns for the weekend. 
And new terms of the updates. Check out Shaz and Asli Tesla across board out of these messages. Let's continue about cheese board. Maybe it should brief every raid with these storms. And mid level tours and public hospital will be. Become very shared with all of the correction will weaken it and move it offshore by midday so after driving tread Throughout the hour, class will elect to eliminate punching dense fog over Cape Cod and the hazards of shifted the road as the day progresses. Previous broadcast captures these details densely, so make no, no major changes with these broadcast updates. Early discussion below. Here. Two states is now over, and police have been surprised by when they found the suspect. Because we don't know who killed Elizabeth Marriott. Seth Mazzaglia. Seth and as the 5 a.m. radar scattered shots of Tesla's move across the barrel and he read the brief every way that shot kept less numerous this afternoon with very trend development. Good Wednesday morning, everybody. So glad you could join us. fog this morning across Cape Cod Ams and mountain temperatures today across Connecticut, Western Massachusetts, Cooler elsewhere. That's one, but hey, you know what? Things are looking up at least for the second part of this day. Better have a for the second, right, JR? And let's take a look at my let's take a look at the future cast here east of interstate 95 west of there i think you're done for the day in terms of showery activity you have a couple of sprinkles out toward franklin and most of the raindrops again uh 128 south weymouth out toward uh, brockton and uh, now exiting norwood heading south into brockton. throughout the day showers will be spotty at times and, these showers and we'll see some heavy rain shots around 7 p.m up in fitch break it up in the concord here and so now we'll focus Shouts will be continuing throughout. That may be a tougher challenge. The air is dry through Today and tomorrow, today and, and I think this is the heavier batch of rain. But the clouds may linger and win the battle on the south shore the entire day. Just At 8 o'clock in the morning, the air is going to be light rain. Well, some heavy rain after Connecticut, after New York State. So another bout of heavy rain tomorrow after some showery rains today. Okay, let's take a look at our deck cam here. Shows a little spotty drizzle here in the sky in Norton here. Oh wait, let's take a look at our seven day forecast that goes like this. Far today, scattered showers and dust from some of the storm's commuters every way. Glass clouds and hydro, 6 to 9 degrees, light and variable wind, chance of precipitation 50%. New rainfall amounts of less than 10 minutes, check 10 miles possible to storms. Today, chance of showers mainly after 3 a.m., punch of fog after 9 p.m. Overall, most clouds got lower than 57 degrees, south wind about 6 miles, by chance of precipitation 30%. New precipitation amounts of less than 10 minutes, possible. Thursday, showers, punch of fog and hydro, 6 to 9 degrees, coming from the northeast, around 5 miles by the afternoon, chance of precipitation 80%. New precipitation amounts of between the half and 3 quarters of an inch possible. To that, may like the main before 7 p.m. Punch of fog after 10 p.m. above ours. Most cuts got lower than 54 degrees. Northwest would about 3 to 5 miles by chance of precipitation 6 to 10. New precipitation amounts between the 10 and a quarter of an inch possible. Friday, chance of showers with thunderstorms also, also passed above. After 1 p.m. Punch of fog and hydro, 74 degrees. Northwest would about 6 to 8 miles by chance of precipitation 30 percent. Friday night, Punch of fog got lower than 55 degrees. Saturday, most of the sky's had 80 degrees. Saturday night, most of the coast clouds will Lawmakers are concerned those Taliban leaders could 57 degrees. Sunday, South Carolina, 82 degrees. Saturday night, Park Hospital, 57 degrees. Monday, Park Hospital, 78 degrees. Friday night, Park Hospital, 57 degrees. For Tuesday, Park Hospital, 75 degrees. Peter, what a phrase of the day! The Arctic Circle is also expected to be affected by the storm. Yes, Arctic Circle, 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 Arctic